I often get asked, how come I talk so much about the liver? Well, I'm going to repeat something that my biochemistry professor told me many, many, many years ago. If you're taking your board exams and you don't know the answer, and liver's an answer, you choose liver. That's how important liver is. The liver affects so many different processes in the body. So a good, healthy liver can also result in a good, healthy, functioning, you name it, right? And so for me specifically, having dealt with a lot of thyroid uh, patients, people that have had a lot of thyroid dysfunction, hypothyroid, hyperthyroid, Hashimoto's, what I found is a, a pretty common thing with those that have hypothyroid. Actually, I would say probably about 50% of the hypothyroid patients that came into my office that were diagnosed with hypothyroidism were on thyroid medication. When we actually ran blood panels and we actually saw what was going on in their body, they didn't actually have a thyroid issue. They had liver dysfunction. So how does that affect the thyroid, the liver? Well, very simply, the thyroid creates two main hormones, T4 and T3. Well, about of those hormones, about 93% is T4 and about 7% is T3. T3 is the active form. It's ready to be used by your cells. T4, on the other hand, has to be converted to T3 prior to the cells being able to utilize it. Well, how does the liver take a, take a, or play a part in this? Well, it, it's a very big part. You see, about 20% of thyroid conversion happens in the gut. Another 20% happens in other peripheral tissues, but 60% of thyroid conversion from T4 to T3 happens in the liver. And what I found oftentimes with patients that do suffer with these kind of issues is when they just really start working on their liver and supporting their liver with good nutrition and helping the liver to cleanse, um, helping to support the glutathione pathway within the liver, we see the liver starting to function again or function the way it's designed to function. And when that happens, suddenly we see their numbers in their thyroid change, which is a key indication that it was never a thyroid to begin with, a thyroid issue to begin with. It was always a liver issue. So liver, extremely important. That's just one of many, many topics that we can talk about the liver. And I'm sure I'll be dropping more nuggets on how the liver affects other processes in the body.